Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about combining like terms, and we want to simplify each expression. So, if I was given this expression, negative 2n minus 9 minus 10n. This one I know is going to be tricky right from the get-go. That's subtraction and then the whole parenthesis, okay? So, inside the parenthesis, we have 9 minus 10n, right? Okay. And they're not like terms, so we cannot combine them. Okay, so now we have to distribute that minus sign. So take your time, watch this, rewatch this section again uh, to make sure you don't miss it. The negative 2n comes out front. Now, subtraction. Subtracting a 9, distributing that. So distribute that subtraction to the 9. Then I need to subtract a minus 10n. So I subtract a negative 10n. Again, watch that. Subtract a negative 10n. Okay? So let's simplify this. We have negative 2n minus 9. Subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. So we have plus a positive 10n. Okay? So subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. Okay? Take your time for this. So now I want to use the commutative property take the 10n and I'm going to put it all the way to the beginning, okay? Because this minus 2n is the same thing as like plus a negative. Now you don't need to do this step every single time, but on um, that plus a negative, but it does help to visualize that in your head and then we'll convert it back down. So the 10n I'm going to write first, plus a negative 2n minus 9. So hopefully you can see that 10n plus a negative 2n is just 8n, but if you cannot, it's okay. I can re rewrite that plus and negative to be subtraction, so we have 10n minus 2n minus 9. Now 10n minus 2n is just 8n minus 9, and that is our final answer. So let's recap here. <clears throat> I needed to distribute that minus sign first. I took my time for this. Subtract, so I have negative 2n minus 9, distribute that, and then minus a negative 10n. So it brought that subtraction over. So now I then knew that minus and negative was adding a positive. So we have plus a positive 10n. Use the commutative property, I wrote that first, with making that subtraction plus a negative 2n. And then minus 9. I have all three parts here. Now that plus and negative is the same thing as subtraction. So we have 10n minus 2n minus 9. 10n minus 2n is just 8n. And that is our final answer.